Chongqing, China. This city is Big Brother's wet dream with more than 2.5 million families covering 15 million people. Privacy is a full little word in this place. It's pretty ironic that a cloak and dagger organization like the ICA keeps its most valuable secrets here. You'll find Hush conducting his fringe experiments in an abandoned apartment building. While Imogen Royce, the archivist, runs the day-to-day -day business of the ICA data facility. I just hope you know what you're doing, 47. Um, short hair with a bright green bag. Sorry. Shit. She said she'd meet me here. She's probably running late. Yeah. Mm. She used to be really reliable. When, when we were at school, she was my rock. She always let me copy her notes. She would never have kept me waiting like this. Sometimes it feels like she's changed. People change. It's stupid, but... I'm kind of scared she's outgrowing me. Like, maybe she's changing, but I'm just staying the same. I'm just, I don't know, dead weight. She agreed to meet you in the middle of the night, in the rain. No one does that if they don't care. I guess that's true. Oh, I feel like kind of an asshole for asking her out now. She's probably ruining her shoes in this weather, just so we could get drinks. Maybe you can pick up the tab. <laughs> That's a good idea. Chef outfit is really uncomfortable. I wish we didn't have to do all this cloak and dagger stuff every day to get to work. Shh, you can't talk about that stuff up here. Oh, geez, no one's listening. I'm gonna head in and change into something more comfortable. You coming? I'll be in in a sec. I'll see you down there.
Ah, my knee is so sore. Why is that? I fell over because a homeless woman suddenly jumped up right in front of me. You were hiding in a hole with cardboard covers. You nearly stepped my knee. Wow. So I was laying there. My knee was like that. And she started running something about me. Do you mean? This is my chance. I just need to find out where he is. But the player has a simple way to have a part of your complete memory. Yes. You understand the full conversation. Why the hell did you do that, you bastard? Right in the head! And the way to find out the first thing to do is to find out the first thing to do is to find out the first thing to do. Listen.
funny how kids look so innocent when they sleep. What the hell are you doing? Whoa! I can't do it. I can't. This can't save my family. I need to think of my family. Hey. You got the bastard, Hush. Now go get Imogen Royce and we'll get to the core. I could seriously use some help over here. Upstairs, I've seen Hush control their arms with his mind. Something. It's not his mind, it's a machine. He talks great. He's weird. With his condition, his project, and he's looking mm -hmm. up to the facility. Exactly. Oh, no, you don't!
Mr. Pritchard, I presume. Hi, I'm Chancy. Pleased to meet you. I'll be your guide on the facility call. Spare me the pleasantries. I've had an awful flight. Nine hours delayed, luggage lost somewhere along the way. I'm hungry and I'm tired, and I want to straighten everything out before I'm doing your tour. Yeah, so sorry about your flight. Just let me know when you're ready. Oh, did you bring the P-41 we left for you in the apartment? No. I wasn't informed that I should. Oh, very sorry, Mr. Pritchard. We need you to bring the P-41 to get the tour. It's procedure. Please pick it up before you come and find me. I'll be waiting by the stairs in the back of the restaurant kitchen. Unoccupied, and I believe you're a person. What's going on in here? What's going on in here? I'm asked to be happy. How am I supposed to focus when the kitchen feels like a train station? Find your inner design. Close your eyes and focus your mind on the stretch and bonus on the page. What I do. That is a calming bonus.
Have a nice evening, sir. Ahoy, May. Could you check my desk for me? I can't remember if I closed the spot. I'm ready to inspect the facility now. Good. I hope you enjoyed the food. Did you bring the P-41 we left for you in the apartment? Yes. I have everything I need. Good. Let's continue the tour. Continue, you may say. We haven't even started the tour yet. But we have. Without you even noticing it, Mr. Pritchard. Invisibility is the best security there is. You see, the restaurant is in fact a front that lets all ICA personnel arrive unseen. Who notices a dumpling cook on his way to work? Dressing the part takes you a long way. ICA guarantees absolute discretion to all clients. We take that promise very seriously, as you will see on all steps of the tour. Let's step in. Doesn't look like much, does it? Ms. Chen and visitor, welcome. Please report to security desk for visitor sign-in. Will do. I love the facility AI. It's really looking out for us. And we're in. The inside is a self-contained modular bill that can be disassembled and removed in less than 12 hours if we are compromised. No trace will ever hear. I agree. Leaving no trace behind is the only sensible MO. The outside shell is a building marked for demolition. We've put a hold on it with city planning. A deliberate misplacement of the order. But have people in place to rectify that? First shift, city construction will move in. Our policy around ICA personnel is that they are a resource, but also a risk. On top of contractual repercussions if breaches occur, we perform detailed vetting on everyone. The first, blunt vetting, is a frisk. We have, of course, never had any employees trying to bring unauthorized weapons inside the facility, but we do consider the step important. I'll need to start the setup of your visitor security clearance here, Mr. Pritchard. Please give me your P-41, Mr. Pritchard, so we can get things rolling. Thanks. I'll get the procedure started. It'll just be a few moments, so feel free to have a look around. I'll meet you on the other side of the frisk. Naturally, you'll have to be frisked like everyone else. No exceptions, Mr. Pritchard. If you use your camera, you can have that camera. Started the security clearance process. It will take a little while since you're covered by the Zero Protocol. All your data will be encrypted and inaccessible without your authorization. Only Facility AI will use it for ID analysis. Fully anonymized, of course. But we can go a few more steps on the tour while it's validating. ID analysis? What the hell does that mean? Give me a minute. I'll try to find out. As I said, 
personnel is the greatest asset, but also the greatest risk of the ICA. The work we do here exerts high-level pressure on our employees, and there is no room for mistakes. We perform a daily, multi-layered, full-body scan to guarantee that no employee will act erratically because of PTSD or other mental issues, drug use, physical health issues, external pressure, or moral hesitancy. The scan only takes a few seconds. Come on, it's this way inside. I'm sorry, but we can't proceed beyond this room until your security clearance is finalized. So why don't you have a little look around while we wait, Mr. Richard? It should be here shortly. Shh. Get. We need to intercept that 47, or the facility AI will blow your cover. Get me into one of those computers and do it fast. You've got 60 seconds before all hell breaks loose. You can hack that panel with your camera, 47. Security protocol overruled. Good. I'm in. And you're safe. That was a close one. Perfect timing. Your clearance just came through. Let's continue. Let's step inside. So, as you see, we are very serious about security. What we protect is, after all, core to all ICA operations. We, and we alone, store all legal work, contracts, target profiles, employee files, contract documentation and validation, and so forth. Furthermore, we handle all current operations, effectuate logistics of personnel and equipment. Our analysts do the client vetting target profiles, and of course, offer real-time contract support to handlers and operatives. Storage and transmission of sensitive information like that takes constant vigilance to keep safe. We have a team of engineers solely dedicated to that task, and on top of that, we have a dual human authentication process set up. All access and alterations to the source are authenticated by Hush and Royce through their implants. I believe that's all for me. Oh, good. There she is. Imogen Royce. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Likewise. After you. This is the blast and EMP shielded call room, the nervous system of the ICA, where we store the past and facilitate the present. In general, only a handful of people can access this room. Hush and myself, plus bodyguards, and a chosen few of the engineers. I'm the most likely person to meet in here because I perform a regular physical check-in on the core console as a supplement to the remote authentication procedure. We have a strict routine of daily core maintenance. Part of that procedure is a flash process evaporating all biological matter in the room. You can see Reed through that window. It's her job to initiate the maintenance. Don't worry, we're safe as long as the safety mechanism is engaged. Even if Reed presses the button, the procedure will not happen until we leave the call room. The doors to the call room are all equipped with... You know what, screw this tour. I know why you're really here. Cutting to the chase, I see. Knowledge is power. More importantly, knowledge is opportunity. Let me demonstrate. You have a sixth sense for irregularities. And although Hush's recent behavior has not been reported, it has no doubt brought you here. You do have authority to shut down unwanted efforts, but at heart, you are progressive and not the stickler everyone thinks you are. You have sway with the board, and as I see it, your opinion is now what decides my future and the future of the ICA. So here we go. Imagine this. Having a time schedule on a target with minute details on locations, durations, and purpose. A detailed layout of a target's actions within a defined time frame. That would transform a contract into a surgical dance of precision. No mess, no fuss, low cost. Just how I like it. 
I've been working on a prediction algorithm based on a combination of big data analysis and micro-targeted surveillance of defining target markers. And my results are astounding. All this state-of-the-art is nothing but heavy old-fashioned machinery compared to what I offer. Analysts preparing detailed files dedicating days, weeks to prepare our contracts, gone. Handlers and analysts supporting our operatives during missions, gone. Teams for cleanup and media manipulation in the rare case something unforeseen does happen, all of it, gone. I asked you to imagine that scenario, but what good is imagination when you can see it with your own eyes? I've set up a little demonstration for you. All right, there. Three employees, unaware that I can accurately predict their behavior. Firing them will result in an already clearly defined reaction. On the top left, we have Sharon Reed, who you saw downstairs. She is a dutiful and trusted employee. If she is to be fired, my algorithm predicts with a certainty of 97.8% that she will finish up her most important tasks before she leaves the building. Specifically, she will press the maintenance button within 11 seconds. Jeremy Bolt. The guard in the lower left is as tough as nails when on duty, but in private, he's a real mummy's boy. If fired, he will immediately call his mother and at her advice, seek out who he considers his best friend for support. My personal guard, as it stands. Me? Really? That explains why he's always next to me at lunch. At the top right, you see Alicia Reynolds. Bright and very passionate about her job. However, also very possessive about her contribution. My prediction is that she will try to disable the work she has done for the ICA. If she's not allowed to enjoy her results, no one is. Specifically, that means she will try to enter the call room and disable the safety mechanism. I'll leave you to consider your choice of who you want me to use for the demonstration. Just let the guard outside the door know when you're ready, and I'll be right back. I will have a closer look. Maybe your project could play a part in the future of the ICA. Just let the guard outside the door know when you're ready, and I'll be right back. Oh, and if you decide to leave the room, a guard will escort you around. Safety protocol. Thought I'd just mention it. Sharon Reed, I regret to inform you that Code 41 is now effective for your employment status. Thank you for your service. Escorting you around. Procedure. Not just about the future of the ICA, it's my future as well. I've decided which scenario I'd like to see play out. Good. I hope you're ready to witness what's in store for the ICA. You've had a closer look and made your choice of who to let go? I have. I'll let you have the honors and be the one to perform the demonstration. Go ahead and choose the subject. The facility AI will handle the situation. You just enjoy the show. The dutiful one. <laughs> You've got 
a mean streak, Mr. Pritchard. You go for the drama, I see. Don't worry, it's quite safe. The guard will prevent her from doing any damage. Alicia Reynolds. I regret to inform you that Code 41 is now effective for your employment status. Thank you for your service. Oh, no, no. to inform you that Code 41 is now effective for your employment status. Thank you for your service. What? That can't be right. Code 41 is confirmed effective for your employment status. Oh, God. This is not good. This is not good. that this is the future for the ICA. I mean, how could you not? So, you'll probably want to dive into the project documentation and write your recommendations right away. You're free to use my office. I'll tell the guard outside to escort you out of the facility when you're done. I'm looking forward to upscaling my project. Goodbye, Mr. Pritchard. And I'm in. You can get out now and I can take care of the data in a moment. Unless you want to handle it yourself. Losing a job. I don't want to lose my best buddy, too. Security protocol overruled. Good. You're alone. I'm sealing the room and dimming the windows 47. No need to worry about intruders. ICA ever sanctioned. Enough to shut them down for good. But first you need to locate all files referencing Diana and yourself. Feel like 
Training starts in 600 hours. I should leave you to prepare. Perhaps I see a possibility for others. of you go way back. I didn't realize that you... I don't know. I get why you want to protect her. So, wipe all the data referring to the two of you from their system before we publish the rest. non-profit site. When you press that button, it's up there and the whole world will know. There's no undo 47. This will shut the ICA down for good. You really okay with this? It's who you've been for so long. Maybe it's time for a change. I'll just return things to normal. No need to alert that we were here prematurely. Safety detected. Shit. I missed that. We're blown through. I can hold the doors for a little while. Use the fence to get out. Go. Now. All personnel. Breach protocol initiated. This is bad. That means they'll shoot on sight. I'm gonna create some havoc for you. Make the core right now. Maybe we'll divert their attention a bit. Over there. Warning. Core overheating. Warning, core shut down. Temperature critical. Warning, fire detected. Anybody copy? No sign of any puppy. Moving on. All personnel, breach protocol initiated. Thank you. 